Uh, what inspired you to go to? I know you have a lot of certifications yeah. and a lot of things dealing with the body and health. Yes. What inspires you to do? Uh, what was it? Massage. Massage therapy. Massage therapy first. What inspired you to do massage therapy first? Honestly, a friend insisted me on being able to. You should offer this. You should go to. You should go learn massage therapy. Have you ever thought about me being me? I'm. No, not really. Were I you mean, a I massage. Were you, were you a personal trainer at that time or no? I was training at the time. I like was for yourself or other for, for myself. I was okay. training for myself. But you know, when others start to come along, when they see me post me, when I post results, when I do what I do, of course, I had others tagging along at the same time. So, how, who was your first client? How did you get your first client? Man, my first client actually came off. I want to say Facebook, social okay. media, me posting me, you know, my workouts. You know, what I mean, accountability workouts, not just some push-ups and then he. But really like some workouts, me doing reps of different workouts, you know what I mean? So my first client came from Facebook, yeah. And did you train them at at your house, at their house, or did you guys meet at a gym? No, I, I trained them over here. I trained them here in my spot, um, in my basement gym. Of course, I didn't have what I have today in this basement gym, but you know, but I, I have a body though, and I know how to use it, you know? The body is a machine, you know how to use the body correctly, and there we have it, you know what I mean? So it sounds like you had a skill that you monetized and you turned it into a a service yeah. that you could sell to people, basically is what it sounds like you did. That's great, you know, uh, you played football, so obviously you worked it a lot when you were younger. Mm -hmm. um, what, what was your first job out of high school? Did you work in a gym or did you work for a school? Or? My first job out of high school, actually right out of high school is when I moved to Atlanta. Okay. I moved to Atlanta for about three years. Um, a lot of people don't know I was a musician. I did positive rap with two other guys. Um, when when things wasn't going the way I wanted to go with football because of course I was doing football in high school. You know I, that's when I went over to um, Atlanta. We were doing music at the same time. We shot out there for three years. Long story short, um, if you're going to be in a group, make sure you all on the same page. Make sure you all you make sure you're never for self. A group is a group. You gotta be as one. Long story short with that. Came back to Chicago, that's when I got into working. Um, I'm always having a job, man. I had two, I always had a job, but the okay. job was never fulfilling. Okay. It's never what I really wanted to be, it's never what I really want to do. It was just more so to make some income so I can go off and do what I invest in what I want and what I want to do. So at a young age, it sounds like you understood that you were not fulfilled with these nine to fives you had. Most definitely. So at what point did you say, man, I gotta do something because I don't want this to be the rest of my life. Like, yeah. what, at what point did you realize, hey man, I gotta figure out what my passion is yeah. and I gotta go with that? When I came back from Atlanta, man. When I came back from Atlanta and I got back to Chicago, that's when I started working at the gyms. That's when I started doing a little bit more. That's when I went to massage therapy school. That's when I got into like learning the body more. That's when I called myself a coach, Coach Bird, rather than a okay. musician, rather than a football player, rather than, that's when I became a coach. So 